Hey, good people. Welcome back to Beauty in the Frizz. My name is Kara, and whether you're new or returning, thank you so much for stopping by and hanging out with me for this video today. This one is a special one, and you're going to see two intros. Um, originally, this was just going to be just a palette update video for Tiny Marvels, but I wanted to do it for mimosas and makeup because this palette, I know, holds a lot of meaning to all of us, and I don't know one person who watched Mel Thompson that didn't just adore her. And everyone who I know has the Tiny Marvels palette feels the same way. They love it, you know? And so I thought this would be great for mimosas and makeup. So I don't have a mimosa today, but I will have one in the chat with y'all. And we will get into the real part of the video with the real intro. But I want to dedicate this video to Mel Thompson and everyone in the community that adores her because I still adore her and to her family as well. This palette is one for the books. I think it's one of the most unique ones in my collection and it's one that I would never give up. So. Let's get into it, y'all. I recorded and started recording part of this video and my mic wasn't on. So we are gonna take this from the top. Hey, good people. Welcome back to Beauty and the Frizz. My name is Kara. Whether you're new or returning, thank you so much for stopping by and hanging out with me for a great video today. We've talked it up. I've been talking about it. You've been talking about it. So I thought, why not bring out Tiny Marbles and do an updated video? You know, just some updated looks, some fresh looks, and just give this palette some love. I'm doing this because I had already started to get into the eyeshadow look, unfortunately. Anyway, if you wanna see three eyeshadow looks with the Tiny Marbles palette, keep on watching this video. And if makeup is your therapy and your love, if it makes you happy, but you're trying to get right, with this collection that you have. Definitely consider joining the community. I'd love to have you back. All right, let's get started. All right, you guys, I hope you all are doing well today. I'm bringing this palette out. It's beautiful for spring. It's beautiful for all year round. It's just a classic in my collection and even more so now because this is just a very beautiful and special memory of Mel Thompson. It, it, this palette was just geniusly put together, if that's a word. If not, it is a word now, geniusly put together. And I love this treasure in my collection. We're gonna dive right in because I already have. I started with the shade Tree Hopper. I'm using Tree Hopper on a BK Beauty A503 brush, and I was putting this in the transition area. One of the things I was saying or asking was, do you guys still watch Mel's videos? I watch them all the time. And for those who don't know, Mel Thompson was the first YouTuber that I started watching. I started doing my makeup at the end of 2019 and she's the first person I came across. And from her, I found just the whole community that I love watching now, but, but it started with her. I am amazed at how timeless her eyeshadow looks are and her eyeshadow technique because I look at a lot of her videos, especially from two and three years ago, because I've had the desire to purchase some older palettes that are, you know, oldies, but goodies. And the looks that she creates are absolutely timeless. Whereas I'll look at something I did last week and think it's a mess. And that's honest. I think that is so amazing. Like she's so classic, timeless and pretty much just a legend in this community. And I, I really still enjoy watching her videos. So I wanted to know if you guys still watch. Um, we're gonna go into, I wanna go ahead with Death Moth. Death Moth is this shade here. And I'm taking Death Moth on this MSQ crease brush. If you're not familiar with the MSQ brushes, I have a review on them. They're from Amazon. They're great. It's like $8.99 for a whole set. I'm a little bit behind schedule now because I had to start the video over, but it's okay. I am going for a more neutral look today and I would like to showcase the versatility of this palette in this video. I was saying that it would have been a great idea for me to compare this video to my original uh, review video, which I will link because I'm not going into like swatches and all of that 
but I did do a video on this in, let's say back in 2020. Cause I think that's, that's when it came out 2020. And, um, oh man, I love this palette so much. Like, come on, you can go so many different ways with this palette, which is the genius part of it. And I always say this when I talk about this palette that I was not attracted to this palette when it first released. I was like, I want it because it's Mel Thompson, but like, I don't know if I like this color story. I can't remember what time of year this palette came out, but whenever it came out, I just remember saying this looks like spring and I did not find it particularly inspiring, but just remember like I was really brand new, brand new to eyeshadow, to makeup and what to do with a palette like this. And it wasn't always easy and it still isn't sometimes with various palettes to see the potential color stories that you can make. That's one of the hard things about certain palettes that are kind of organized all over the place like Circo Loco, you know, for me, like by Natasha Denona, that palette is a bit haphazard and it's hard for me to see the looks, you know, because what I like to do is if I can't figure it out, start monochromatic and then, you know, you can kind of figure out your, your color or what you want to do with it. All right. This looks like a pretty good blend. Again, just wanting to showcase the versatility of this palette. So we're going a bit on the neutral end today. I think, I think. Maybe not, we'll see. <laughs> I tend to change my mind. So, I mean, look at this. It is just, it's just perfect. I mean, this could be your daily work look. You could put like a little bit of fire butts on the lid or I mean, even BB, Metal Hawk, any of these shimmers, Marvel might be the most like muted, like pink one that you could do. So I was thinking about Scarab. Fire butts is one of my absolute favorite shades. Uh, okay. Let's use both of them. <laughs> so we're going to go into Scarab first for the main part of the lid. And I'm just going to go ahead and use a finger. And I'd like to say that, you know, this palette, I would say is going on two years old. This does have an 18 month shelf life, so it's not it expired by any means. But this is the first time that I've pulled this palette out in a while, maybe a year. So the performance of this palette is exactly as I remembered it. And gosh, this is just a beautiful shade. Look at that. I just love this dual chrome. Now, a lot of brands do make this dual chrome and this wasn't an original shade in the palette. I think this shade, I want to say it was called like red chameleon. I don't know if it still exists as a single on the Sydney Grace website, but you know, she wanted to have this in the palette and it is just a beauty. It is a beauty. Sydney Grace is just such a tried and true eyeshadow formula and you just cannot go wrong with it, whatever you do. I'm going to go ahead. Let me show you. I'm going to go ahead into fire butts now. Another favorite of mine is just a beautiful gold, but it's not like BB gold. You know what I'm saying? It's not like Pat McGrath gold standard gold. You know, look at that. Look Marvel because this, is just come on stop playing oh my god so excited right now to pull this out like in the middle of the night last night i was like i'm doing tiny marbles because i was just talking about it in my spring palette video and there were a couple people that said they never got it there were a couple people that said i have it and i've never used it there were a couple people that said i have it but i need to pull it out so like let's accelerate that process let's pull it out this is all you need in life i mean okay let me just move on I'm being dramatic i'm gonna go into because i think i'm cool like with this let's do walking stick which is another kind of cool tone brown for the lower lash line then we're gonna get a little pop on that inner corner wait oh my god look what time it is uh going into walking stick with the egg show pencil brush I was looking for my refer 26 but i don't see that so i really don't uh can't use it at this time but this is just such a simple easy look i didn't even go back on the outer corner to deepen it up anymore i just like this easy i don't know if i'm gonna leave my hair like this anymore i don't know i might want to take it down see sometimes when my eye looks i'll be like oh i don't like my hair like this anymore <laughs> All right, time for the inner corner. Hoing, hoing. Come on. You know what kind of shirt I have on, right? Did y'all see it? There it is. Y'all see it? I'm not going to do it because I know I've been saying it all the time lately and it's just too much. 
The child. Okay, that's fine. That's it. I am going to start watching The Mandalorian because I've never seen it. I just love saying the child and he's so cute. Oh, y'all can't even see. What am I doing? I'm real hyped today, y'all. <laughs> I'm real hyped this morning. Like, I'm just so happy just in general about life. It is a great day. I think it might rain, but it's okay. It's a Wednesday. I'm here for it. I mean, I'm glad I'm here for it. You know what I'm saying? And uh, school's been going kind of well just because I've just been like, I'm going to do what I want. It's my room. Let me just see what I want to do with this hair. Oh, I don't think it's bad, right? Let me go ahead and zoom in on this look and then finish it out so I can have a job to go to. I'm loving this. I have no complaints. Did you see the ease? Did you see how effortlessly the look came together? That's called Mel Thompson. I'm gonna finish this look. I'll be right back. All right, y'all, I'm back. Here's the final look. Gotta roll fast, y'all. I hope you like it because I really, really do. Let me tell you what else I've got on. So for my liner, I have on a ColourPop liner and this is the shade Aglow from the Lush Life Collection. As you can see, it is a shimmery light green. I wanted to pick up the shade Mantis with the liner. So I love that. I have on my Bad Gal Bang Mascara, which I feel like might be nearing the end of its life and that's okay. For blush, I have on the Victoria Beckham Cheeky Posh in the shade Roller Skate. Look at that beautiful color and oh, mm, come on. I also have on the Wayne Goss highlighter from my Desert Blossom blush. It's a rose gold, yes. And let's talk about the lip combo. So for lips, I have on Vive today. I, mm, where is Aunt? Oh yes, I have them both in my pocket. So this is the pencil in the shade Peach, and it is a peach pink combo. Can you see it right there? I don't wanna wash it out by like zooming in. And then I have on the lipstick in the shade Pinch. This, this is, is one of her modern matte lipsticks and it is one of her newer shades. I do enjoy. There it is. I think this is a winning combo. Let me know what you think. I am gonna go to work. I'll be walking in the kids be walking in and just be too much. So I'm gonna leave my hair like this. Y'all think it's cute? Cute. I think it's all right. Let's get into another look. Hey, you guys, I am back with a second look or to do a second look with the Tiny Marvels palette. Now, before we get started, I have been having some lighting issues lately. If you haven't noticed, I've been trying some different things. Sometimes my lighting looks yellow. Sometimes it's washed out. A lot of this um, has been happening as I have been learning how to use my camera and um and getting off of autofocus mode if you're not a techie person don't even worry about what i'm saying but i have two lenses that as I, I continue to talk about technology i have two lenses that i like to use i had a canon i have a canon and i have a sigma lens and recently i switched from the canon lens to the sigma probably a couple months ago really but uh, my first videos i was using the the canon mostly anyway i'm back on that lens today as you can see my background's not super blurry i am just trying to find the perfect lighting i don't know i think there's like a device photographers use or something to get like that all straight uh, let me know what you think this looks like i think you're still gonna be able to see the look great but you know my autofocus on that sigma lens just goes in and out in and out in and out i just don't it's just too much it's too much like to be going in and out like that i don't I don't have the time nor the patience for it. So we're gonna go ahead and get into a second look. I just wanted to share that in case you may be wondering like if I look different in the last uh, look to this one. Okay, now I need to stop talking and let's get to it. I am going to go into the shade Love Bug today. So let's see how washed out this looks. See, it's still a bit bright, but I don't think it's as bad as it was on the other lens. So that's Love Bug. It's just a beautiful little mauve shade. And I think we're gonna go kind of pink today, I'm thinking. Yeah, let's do a little pinky look. Hmm. Let's not use Love Bug. We might use Love Bug. Let's use Flutterby, which is this one. This is a little more pink than mauve. Okay, so let me tell you what's going on today. We're gonna start with a Ruffer 27 brush. Today is March 24th. So Pat McGrath is releasing today. Pat. I, so, okay, let me tell you what I'm getting. I know this is not what this is about. And um, by the time you see this, 
hopefully that's what I've got. I am planning on just getting the palette and one or two lipsticks. That's where I'm at. I just cannot bring myself to do that blush. It's just not practical. That packaging is just ugly. I just don't know. I don't know what's going on. I don't know what the team is deciding. That, that's the plan here. See, I'm not having a whole bunch of autofocus issues. This is making me very excited. So yeah, maybe I just needed to switch lenses back and now I can just, you know, work on my lighting. I, I, it's nice to have the blurry background. I know I'm switching topics, y'all. That's my little ADHD kicking in. It's nice to have the blurry background, but I think it would be best to have that if I just was doing talking videos. And see, it's blurry now. It's blurry as I need it to be. But if I'm moving around and all of that good stuff, I just don't think that that's going to be a practical lens for me to use. And I'm the editing takes so much longer because I'm trying to edit out, edit out all the times where it goes out of focus. So, yeah, we're getting closer and closer to a, a stable filming and lighting solution, you guys. I might have had that in the beginning and then I just started fooling around. Yeah, look how beautiful this shade is. This is just a beautiful kind of like wash the way I'm doing it because this brush is super fluffy and it's just really diffusing this out. And I'm sure if I used a more denser brush, I could pack on the color just a little bit more, but I'm just looking for a little wash right now and that's what it's giving me. So let's just appreciate it. This is beautiful. What a predicament. I trying to figure out where I'd like to go with this look and I don't exactly know. I need another matte. So we've got Bugaboo. We're gonna go with Bugaboo. So Bugaboo is this shade here and I am gonna take Bugaboo on this Dose of Colors fluffy brush and we're gonna just go into the crease with this shade, deepen it up just a taste. I just want you to know like how lightly I hold these brushes. Like I'm not like, you know what I'm saying? And just how beautifully the colors just merge into each other with such little effort, such little pressure. I just don't know what else you can ask for. Now for primer, again, I'm using the Urban Decay Primer Potion in the shade Eden and I'll, I'll be using that, you know, with all three looks. Just doing some little circular motions to bring it all together. And I just think this is the perfect blend. And here's what we have a little closer. Okay, I'm gonna use two pink shimmers today. We're gonna use Metal Hawk and we're gonna use Marvel. And I'm going to start with Metal Hawk. This is just such a beautiful, kind of like a little rosy gold shade. Well, they're both kind of rosy gold. This one's a little more pink, I'd say. All right, let's go back. We were talking about Pat McGrath, yeah. So there's a shade, I don't wanna talk about that. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and press that on the main part of the lid. Not being particularly neat because I am gonna come back into the crease. Going a bit monochromatic today, it appears. So there we go. And then I'm gonna go into Marvel now on the front part of the lid. Just easy, easy merging situation. And you can kind of see, it's just a very slight gradient from the lighter shade to the pinker, more pink shade. It's very simple. Going back with my Dose of Color brush into Bugaboo, stamping some of that in and swiping it on over. Okay, I don't know what that is. And just to finish up the lower lash line, to, fi to finish up the lower lash line, I'm gonna take a Blends Bunny Cosmetics B2 brush. I'm just gonna swipe that on under. Like so. 
And then to finish up, I think I'm gonna go into the shade. Then to finish up, I think I'm gonna go into the shade Web. That's gonna be my inner corner. Wait, wait. I'm gonna just take it on the same brush and just tap that in the inner corner. And there's a look. I mean, if that's not easy, then what is? Here's a look up close. All right, here's our look. I think these colors just flow so nicely together and um, I'm into it. All right, you guys, as always, I'm gonna go ahead and finish off the rest of this look and I'll be back to tell you what else is on my face. I have to pick a lip too, so I'm gonna do that and I'll be right back. All right, you guys, so I am back with the final look. Let me zoom you in. I love this look. I think it's so simple, it's so spring, it's just beautiful. And I think all of the parts of the whole look just have come together beautifully. So let me tell you what else I have on my face. To finish off the eye look, I used the ColourPop Act Natural Mascara in brown. I took a plum eyeliner by Tarte. It's a felt tip liner. And I did line my top lids or the top but my eyes, I usually don't do that, but I thought it would just, you know, add to the depth of the look because it's not a very deep look. And then for the bottom, I used a ColourPop plum liner, a gel liner, and that's all I did for my eyes. For blush, my new Wayne Goss Sweet Wildflower palette just came yesterday. So I did want to use that and I just have it on very lightly. It's just a light wash today. And this is the color and it's a very, very light wash. And then I did put a little bit of the highlighter on top just to get a little, you know, flush to the cheeks. And I, I like a light flush and sometimes I like a deep flush. And for my lips, I have the Wayne Goss lipstick in the shade Irish. This is one of his newer shades that released with the two blushes. So that's what I have on. And I just have to say, I still, I'm loving this palette. I know that the this look and the previous one I did were kind of just soft, softer looks. Was the last one soft? I don't know if you consider that soft because I did use like that dual chrome, but you know, they were calm. They were just beautiful springy looks. And I'm sure that my next one will be too, but I definitely, for the next look, I wanna incorporate the purple shade. Let me see which, what that's called. Jewel B. I wanna challenge myself to use Jewel B in the next look and maybe Mantis again, do something a little more daring and colorful with the palette. I have no idea where I wanna go with that, but there's just so many options with this palette. Obviously, this is not gonna be the last time you see me use it, but I'm gonna just keep this one to three looks. So I am gonna get y'all into the last look and then I'll be back to wrap up the whole thing. All right, you guys, we are gonna be doing one final look with the Tiny Marvels palette. Ah, which way do we go today? I don't know. Today I'm gonna go ahead and start with the shade Jewel B and taking Jewel B on a dose of colors fluffy brush. Okay, next I'm gonna go into the shade Love Bug. I will be taking Love Bug on a refer 14. Oh y'all, so today is the Hunger Games with the Adept palette. I am placing this in the crease. I don't know if that's gonna show up, let's see. But yes, and the whole thing is, I'm at work. So, I don't know, maybe when I take my bathroom break or something like that, it'll have to be strategic. Cause you know, if I go to the bathroom, somebody has to watch my class. I have an alarm set for 150 or 145, I think, because that adept website, oh my God. So by the time you're seeing this, either I'll have gotten the palette or not. So I'm just blending this with Jewel B. It's kind of taming that purple down just to taste. And let us bring Love Bug down onto the lid a bit in the outer corner. I had an idea for this look and now 
I don't anymore. In this video, I've, I've used a bunch of the shades, so I am trying to decide on a shimmer. The only one I haven't used is BB. I don't think I've used that. I don't know how that's gonna look, but we're gonna go ahead and try it, cause I really do wanna try to use all the shades. Let's take a risk, cause we can always cover it up. Let's do BB on the lid. Just a little different. Don't think that's bad at all. I think the only matte I didn't use is the shade Spider. I could have did that in the first look. It's gonna to be too deep for this one, I think. Now let's do that. That's not bad at all. Going back in to Love Bug, just to blend this out. Y'all know these like halo eyes are not my forte but I do like to try every once in a while. So I'm thinking something like that looks pretty good. Okay, that is what we are working with. I'm just trying to get my let's you know what let's do mantis on the lower lash line I'm taking the shade mantis on a BK Beauty 207 brush and I am gonna just sweep it under the lower lash line I'm just trying to blend it up into our little purple shades here. All right, I do like this. And last but not least, we need an inner corner highlight. I'm gonna go with Fire Butts today, which is this shade here. It's one of my favorite shades in the entire palette. I'm taking Fire Butts on a Linda Hallberg 301 brush. I believe this is a lip brush, but you know. And of course, I brought that up higher than I wanted to. And let's take a little bit of web right here. And let's do just a really tiny brow bone highlight. This is such a great color. And here's the final look. All right, you guys, I'll be back with the finished look and we'll wrap it up. All right, you guys, I'm back with the final look. <sighs> Y'all, this one, surprisingly, I think this one is my favorite of the bunch. Oh my gosh, look at that. I can't, I did, I can. Okay, so let me tell you what I used to finish off this look. I took a just a brown liner from ColourPop, brown matte liner. I have on the ColourPop Act Natural Mascara, and that is also brown. Four blushes, I combined two from Mama Pat. I have Desert Orchid, as well as Divine Rose. Just combined those. And then for my lipstick, I have on the Charlotte Tilbury Hyaluronic Lipstick Lip Balm in the shade Pillow Talk. And this is what it looks like. Marky, say hi. Hi. What's wrong? Do you need to sneeze? Hi. Let me finish out this video real fast. Marky, get your coat out of the closet. It's early because Marky's still here, y'all. Let me close this out real fast. All right, you guys, so final thoughts about these looks as well as this palette. I love it as much as I ever did. It is still a classic palette, in my opinion. It is just something so special to my collection. 
I just love all of the looks that I created and I look forward to creating more. It's just really a gem. If you do have Tiny Marvels, make sure you go ahead and pull this out and give it some love. Uh, if it's not this spring, you can pull this out anytime. But you know, some of these colors really scream spring to me, especially like with this look right here. And I enjoy it so much. It just reminds me obviously of Mel Thompson and then just the joy I have in her videos and her her makeup looks so that's all i've got for you today i really hope you enjoyed this and i hope that you enjoy just you know going back in your collection revisiting things remembering things um, because when i think about my palettes i think about it like music so when i pull certain palettes out it, it takes me back to i mean not that long ago because my palettes are all like not more than like two years old but oh thanks I, it takes me back to when they came out and what was going on at the time, whether it's in something in the makeup industry or something just in my life, you know, and that's what I think about, you know, uh, with the Tiny Marvels palette. It's, it's in my intro. I'm using it in my intro um, that you'll see from 2020. Come on. So um, that's it, you guys. Uh, I'm going to end it here because I got to take Marky to the bus stop. So thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I hope, as always, that this was therapy for you because it always is for me. And until I see you again, make sure you are being gentle with yourself. Talk to yourself nice. Stay safe. And I will see y'all in the next one. Bye. Bye-bye. All right.